Last time on Tomodachi Game, Yuichi left his friends and colleagues stunned by his unexpected announcement. In a bold move, he revealed his desire to join Group K, leaving his true motives in question. Reiko is taken aback and finds it hard to believe that Yuichi is suggesting switching sides. She thinks he must be bluffing or trying to trick them. However, Tsukino disagrees and thinks that Yuichi's proposal is actually quite plausible. She believes that he may be motivated by his own goals and desires, which could be achieved by switching sides. As the discussion continues, Tsukino wonders if Reiko would be willing to accept Yuichi's switch if it means securing a victory. Reiko takes a moment to consider Tsukino's suggestion and then confirms that she would agree to the switch. After all, this could mean an easy win for their team. Tsukino then emphasizes the importance of their decision. She believes that whether they accept Yuichi's switch or not, the game is sure to take a dramatic turn. Yuichi, the cunning member of Group K, shocks his team by announcing his desire to switch sides and makes Tenji pay for his betrayal. To make matters worse, the switch can only happen in the middle of the forest, and once you switch, there's no going back. As the group debates their next move, K suggests consulting their captain, causing Yuichi to burst out laughing in disbelief. He mocks them and their supposed leader, questioning his control over them. Hyakutaro, infuriated by Yuichi's disrespect, attempts to throw a punch, but his friends hold him back. In the meantime, Reiko is relieved that the game hasn't ended due to an accident, but Tsukino is skeptical. When Kei returns with the captain's decision, the team is split. Reiko is surprised that their leader won't allow the switch, while Tsukino supports the decision. Juzo, on the other hand, remains confident in his strategy and asks his team to trust him. He even suggests making the girls switch sides, so they can't be tricked. Maria, the observant member of the group, notes that Yuichi's plan is far from over, and she's right. Yuichi may have been thwarted this time, but he's still playing the long game. Two days ago, just a few hours after the game had started, Maria inquires Yuichi about their strategy. Curious and eager to know, she wants to make sure they are on the same page. Yuichi calmly explains that they will take a passive approach for the first two days and give the impression that they have no intention of fighting. Cleverly, he plans to lull the opposing team into a false sense of security before making his move. Yuichi then shares his plan of switching and tries to get their hiding spot before revealing it to Maria. Although he is aware of the risk of failure, Yuichi believes that it's the only option they have left. He further explains that they have to follow the other team when they deliver food and that the person who was chosen to hide is not the smallest guy, but the largest. It's evident that the game of hide and seek is far from being a typical one. As Maria listens intently, she wonders what Yuichi's plan would be if they deny his switch. Not one to give up easily, Yuichi confidently tells her his plan, but not before asking her to swear absolute obedience to him. Maria, a little hesitant at first, agrees to his terms, knowing that Yuichi has a brilliant mind and that he must have a trick up his sleeve. Yuichi's plan unfolds, and it's nothing short of genius. Maria realizes the reason behind Yuichi's earlier questioning about her gender. Yuichi surprises Group K with his latest decision. He has changed his mind and no longer wants to switch. As they all ponder his motives, the group begins to wonder if their captain has caught onto his plan. However, Yuichi denies this, claiming that he's confident in Group K's abilities and believes that they can win without any additional help. Maria reminisces about Yuichi's initial plan, which involved him engaging in small talk with the opposing group for two whole days, attempting to incite them at times, all while searching for a crucial clue. Once he had found it, he would seamlessly move on to the next step of his scheme. At the crack of dawn on the fourth day, Kei and Banri head out to deliver food to their captain. 
Meanwhile, Chisato takes charge of watching over Maria, while Hyakutaro stays behind with Yuichi. Curiosity getting the better of him, Yuichi questions Hyakutaro about his basketball journey and praises their team for their incredible skills and exceptional captain. Hyakutaro is thrilled to receive such recognition from Yuichi and confesses how hard he trained to make their captain shine, after injuring Juzo with his substandard shots. Intrigued, Yuichi asks Hyakutaro why he is participating in the Tomodachi game and inquires about the possible death of one of their teammates. As Chisato returns to their location, Hyakutaro is about to spill the beans but is interrupted by Chisato. Chisato suggests a swap and Hyakutaro goes to look after Maria. However, he realizes that Maria is nowhere to be found and eventually discovers her bathing. Afraid of being labeled a pervert, Hyakutaru bolts back to the camp in a frenzy. Meanwhile, Chisato is concerned about Maria and decides to investigate. Hyakutaru stops him, warning him of the potential dangers of being a pervert. Suddenly, Yuichi yells that he has found something and grabs a bag before darting away. Chisato instructs Hyakutaro to follow Yuichi while he searches for Maria. In the heat of the chase, Yuichi and Maria end up together again, and as they run next to a cliff, Chisato theorizes that Yuichi's yell was a signal to split them up. However, Yuichi surprises everyone by revealing that he found something else, and in a moment of confusion, slips and pushes Maria off the cliff. Will Maria survive this sudden betrayal? Before we continue, take a moment to answer the question of the day. What is your favorite anime opening? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out. Now, back to the recap. Meanwhile, Tenji is at his limit, feeling completely drained and defeated. He is ready to push the give up button and call it quits, but then he remembers something important. Even if he manages to escape his current pain, he will still have to return to his empty life. The thought of that makes him pause and reconsider his options. In the end, Tenji decides to keep trusting Yuichi and bet his life on him. He knows it's a risky move, but it's better than giving up altogether. Tenji is sorry that he couldn't apologize to everyone, but at least he didn't betray anyone else. As he lies there, feeling defeated, he suddenly feels something wet on his lips. When he opens his eyes, he sees Yuichi standing over him, offering him water. It's a small gesture, but it means the world to Tenji. He eagerly accepts the drink and begins to feel a bit better. Yuichi takes this opportunity to explain himself to Tenji. He tells him that if he had brought him food earlier, they could have followed him and possibly avoided all of this pain and suffering. Tenji can't help but feel a little frustrated at this revelation. Why didn't Yuichi tell him this on the first day? But Yuichi assures him that he had to test him to see if he would push the give up button. If he didn't, then he would start trusting him again. Tenji is both grateful and relieved to hear this. He knows that he has made the right decision in trusting Yuichi. As they talk, Tenji can't help but wonder how he managed to lose Group K. Yuichi guesses that they are probably trash talking him right now, but Tenji doesn't let it get to him. He knows that he has bigger things to worry about right now. Meanwhile, Yakutaru manages to save Maria from the fall, while Chisato steps up to help pull her up. Maria is shaken by the experience, but she tries to remain strong. She recalls that Yuichi said about using her as a distraction, but she never expected things to escalate like this. Yuichi confides in Tenji about how he cunningly used Maria to his advantage, fully aware that slowing down one member would inevitably affect the entire group dynamic. He goes on to explain how he meticulously observed each personality and relationship within Group K, sometimes casually spilling information to provoke conversation, while other times purposefully instigating conflicts. Yuichi's mission was to uncover the kindest member of the group, and through his calculated analysis, he discovered Hyakutaro. Although initially perceived as short-tempered and impulsive, Hyakutaro's compassionate nature and self-awareness set him apart from the rest. On the other hand, Chisato, a drac of all trades but master of none, harbors a deep jealousy towards sincere individuals like Hyakutaro. Yuichi's plan was to exploit these weaknesses and destroy the relationships within Group K. 
In the last three days, he set numerous traps in motion, the first of which is about to be revealed. Meanwhile, a surprising turn of events unfolds as Maria unexpectedly thanks Chisato for saving her, leaving both him and Hyakutaro baffled. As Yuichi returns to the food camp, the two remaining members of Group K find themselves in a heated argument, ultimately resulting in Hyakutaro's decision to join Group C. Tenji is puzzled by Yuichi's strategy to dismantle the Group K relationship. The moment Manabu confirms that the third member is a girl, Yuichi jumps at the opportunity to use her as a honey trap. Meanwhile, Maria expresses her gratitude towards Chisato for saving her life, but he modestly gives credit to Hyakutaro. Maria's tone suddenly shifts as she accuses Hyakutaro of being a pervert, confessing that he was caught peeping on her while she was stark naked. Despite his feeble attempts to defend himself, Hyakutaru ends up apologizing to Maria, owning up to his wrongdoing. Unexpectedly, Maria's demeanor changes as she admits to lying about the incident, revealing that she was only trying to test his honesty. As a token of appreciation, Maria thanks Hyakutaru, which leaves him smitten. Amidst all this, Chisato can't help but wonder what would have happened if Hyakutaru wasn't there to save Maria. In his eyes, Yuichi is nothing but a conniving and devious person, but Maria is too afraid to speak up against him. With heavy hearts, the trio decides to make their way back to the food station. However, things take a turn for the worse as Maria experiences a sharp pain in her leg. In an instant, Hyakutaru jumps into action and offers to carry her on his back. Maria is pleasantly surprised by his chivalry and laments that she ended up in Group C, wishing she had met him sooner. Will the honey trap work? Has Hyakutaru already been seduced by Maria? Find out what happens next on our next recap of Tomodachi Game.